It's for the nation and for the world. In the name of Jesus. We know that this didn't, coronavirus didn't come from God. Some people are saying that, but it didn't come from God. As a nation of the United States of America and the world, what we need to do is first as people of the United States of the world to repent and ask God to forgive us of all the things that we have done, did, and said in the name of Jesus and put in place in the name of Jesus that not of God. In the name of Jesus, he's worthy to be praised. And when we begin to search ourselves as a people and as a nation and as a world, God will come in and he will heal the land. In the name of Jesus, he's worthy to be praised. And I thank God in the name of Jesus that he is a healer. In the midst of all of this, God yet still is a healer. In the name of Jesus, he said, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? No, it's not. In the name of Jesus, no, it's not. It's nothing too hard for God. He, he is the God of all flesh. He's not talking about religion, man-made religion. He's talking about a personal relationship with him. Having a personal relationship with God make a difference. In the name of Jesus. He sent his son Jesus down on the cross and died for our sin. In the name of Jesus. So what we're going to do as a people, we're going to first ask God to forgive us of all things, even that the people, nobody know. Secret sin, secret thoughts, secret imagination, but to forgive us in the name of Jesus. And as a nation, Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus as a nation to forgive us in the name of Jesus as a world to forgive us in the name of Jesus. And yet still, we can still sing this song. We are healed by the womb in his side. We are already healed because he died on the cross for us in the name of Jesus. And once we do that, then no matter how things get, we're going to keep singing this song. We are already healed as a nation and as a world by the womb it is sad. We already heal by the womb. It is sad. We already heal by the womb. In our Savior, oh, our Savior, Savior, sad. We already heal by the womb in Jesus' side. We already heal by the womb in Jesus' side. Mm. We already heal by the womb in Jesus' side. As a nation, as a world, and as a people, no matter what it look like, we're going to keep believing in the name of Jesus. We already healed by the womb. And I will save you. And I will save you. Save your side, Jesus. We already healed by the womb. It is we already healed by the womb, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. It is sad and financially. We already healed. We speak in it in the name of Jesus. By the womb, it is sad. We already healed by We already healed by the womb. 
where we have a personal relationship and let him in. In the name of Jesus, as our people, we ask God to forgive us, a nation and the world. In the name of Jesus. And then we're going to keep believing it. And no matter what it look like, we're going to keep believing. God going to restore everything back. In the name of Jesus. We are already healed by the womb as a nation and as a world. It is uh, Jesus. We are already healed by the womb in Jesus' name. We are already healed by the womb in our Savior. Mm. Oh, our Savior, our Savior, sir. We are already healed by the womb in Jesus' name. We are already healed mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, financially, and spiritually. We are going to keep speaking it and believing it. First, we ask God to forgive us as a people, no matter what it is, and as a nation. And that's the world. He's going to bring us out of this in the name of Jesus. And we're going to keep believing. We are already healed by the womb in Jesus' side. Jesus. We are already healed by the womb in Jesus' side. We are already Yeah. 